think the discussion here has been very, very enlightening with respect to the problem of vast filter integration because clearly this is not understood by people that badly need to understand it. But I would divide the talk, I think, into two pieces. And one is the understanding the nature of the dynamics, yes. But then when you come to drawing conclusions from it on what to do, one has to be very careful about the system that you have uh, set up. And one of the fundamental aspects of system dynamics is to start with a model that generates the problem, that shows you why you have the problem before you try to fix it. And too often, uh, people undertake to deal with the symptoms without dealing with the causes. And it seems to me the causes here are rising population and rising industrialization. And I don't see the people in climate control paying much attention to those two fundamental driving forces. And in fact, the, the apparent discussion of mastering pollution takes the emphasis off the underlying driving forces and will lead to the problem getting worse. I don't think it's possible to deal with the symptoms and win when the driving forces are growing and in fact encourage, encourage to grow. And if you look at any of the public press, how do we get growth back? How do we grow? And growth is, of course, the thing that's causing a whole array of things. Pollution in the environment is just one and perhaps a minor one, revolutions, wars, atomic war, they're all going to be driven by rising population. So we need to be a little careful about assuming that understanding the bathtubs of one piece solves the problem, I think. The bathtub must be understood, and uh, you won't get to the next step by speaking of until you do. But uh, there's, a, there's a disconnect in, in this whole field between fighting symptoms and fighting cause.